Hi friends, David here from Learn Christmas Lighting. And yes, I'm here in the dark today because I want to take a look here with just without our front light on here in the studio um, at Evos versus Bullet Pixels. Talk about some of the differences in how they look and do some real comparisons there because I think that's one of those things where you get online, you get in these Facebook groups and other channels and people go, oh, you know, I'm going to rag on the Evo. They just don't look as good as the bullet pixel, blah, 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 blah. And I'm going to be the first to say, I honestly don't think it's going to affect the perception of anyone who watches your show. Unless maybe if you're going for great Christmas light fight. Outside of that, honestly, like my neighbors like lights that blink. They like it when they flash. They like it when they do cool things to the music. I don't think they care, but I want to compare, really give you guys a understanding of what's going on here so that you can make the best informed decision for yourself. Me personally, I don't think I'm going to punch another resistor pixel into a prop for my show ever again. And I know that's bold, but it's what I heard from everyone else when Evos first came out. And as I've been using them, as we've been carrying them and selling them, I just don't see any reason to go with a standard style pixel. In fact, I'm probably going to do my mega tree in the Kraken stuff uh, as well. So all that to say right now, I am running a test pattern of red, green, blue, white on this Falcon F test. I think that's a good, fair thing to do for a comparison like this. That'll look really good. OK, so first things first, I'm just grabbing some pixels and I've started actually punching these into strip. I've got a 25 count resistor here, 12 volt that I'm going to plug in here and we're going to look at them next to the Evos. We're going to compare. OK, so I'm going to first go ahead and just put them here so we can see them on the overhead camera. So you can see I've got Evos here. I've got non Evos next to them. OK, and I'm going to tell you the truth, you know, Evos. Uh, where are we in the camera? Evos bullets you know i'm looking at them i'm looking at them on the camera i'm looking at them in person i really don't see any difference we're at 30 percent right now um so let me go to 100 percent. okay look at it again um look at the difference look at how they light um, obviously the evo blows out a little bit on camera but there's people who say the colors don't match this and that and i just I just call BS bad stuff on that. Like, I know there can be variation in different types of LED from any manufacturer, but I just don't see it. Like, I really am looking at this. You know, it's different, right? So a bullet node, and we're going to put them in props. We're going to put them in mega street, street strips and look at them together. Right, a bullet node versus an Evo. Yes, it's a little bit different. Yes, my kids call them marshmallow lights and they think they're cool. If I go down to 30%, it'll show a little better on camera. Um, so standard next to Evo. OK. And I think the colors match and they look really good. In fact, we've got photos on our site, on our store that show red, green, blue and white at full. Evo's right next to regular pixels, not in Coro, not in anything. So let's talk about the application for a second. So here we've got some mega tree strip. Um, I can't even find my pixel pliers. And so um, putting even these three or four pixels into this mega tree strip was honestly a pain in the butt. Put a few more in and they're not quite in all the way. And I know some of them are going to fall out. So I don't have the right tools here. But, you know, it's pain when you do that. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six standard pixels. And then we'll go grab our Evos here. Go find the end of some strand of them which I'm just making a huge mess here. <laughs> um, or maybe the middle of some strand. How about the middle of a strand? All right, we're going to do the same thing, right? Five of them. So in a mega tree strip, one, just going to push it in. I believe I was told place the Evo flat on the table, push down, push the string down onto the Evo. Nice and straight. Yeah, that's way easier. Oh my goodness. Um, though I'm even, I want to do the Kraken personally on my mega tree this year. So I'm not even going to have to do this. But it's like no tools, no pain. 
it's pressed in pretty much all the way and you can finish it with your finger once it's started. Um, so three, so much more compact for storage, lighter, etc. Of course, there's the Mega Tree strips as well, so you don't have the extra wire and you can probably go a little further without power injection. But one, two, three, four. Oh, look, and some of my regular pixels all the, already fell out. Well, let's look at them. So back to the overhead view. I mean, yes, you can physically see a difference if you're looking at it. Yes, the Evo, I wish they could be like a hair more frosted, kind of like the regular pixels, but you know, just look at that here. Look at it on the camera from far away, especially as you get further away from it, as we are here on camera, like, I don't think anyone viewing your display is gonna care. That's my opinion. You might care, you might see a difference, but I think about my kids. Well, my kids would probably mention something, not that they wouldn't like it, they'd just be like, hey, those look different, Dad. My parents wouldn't notice, my neighbors wouldn't notice. So I just, I kind of call BS on that whole Evos look different in, you know, thing that comes up um, because I just, I just disagree with that. Um, so let's pull these kids all out of the strip because actually come over here and I have a Boss Coyo uh, singing face that I have put in some, oops, that was wrong. I have put in some, I don't even know, some bullet pixels. And then I think I'm just gonna attach these to it because I keep making this huge wad of pixels even more and more of a mess. Um, so we're over here. We got this guy. Okay. He's got some bullet pixels in him right now near, near the bottom. Um, so we'll go ahead and get him plug a rootled in. It's just a 25 count. Um, so we've got plenty of power. We're at 30% right now, which is where I like to run my show anyways. And that's what they look like, right? Let's go ahead and punch some Evos. So I've got space on the other side and I've got a bunch of Evos here. And so punching the Evos in uh, most Coro, this is the Boscoyo Coro, um, they have the little cutouts. I think most vendors have this, but I've learned recently that Gilbert hasn't been doing this as much recently. Um, and so as long as it has this, you just place the Evo, push a little, give it a little turn with the wire, okay? When you do that, it's in there, it's secured really good if you get it, you kind of get it in between the coral and it's really happy there, okay? Um, then you do the next one, place it in, push it down into that coral a little bit, give it that turn and you're good to go. Like this first one didn't quite get down far enough but just a little push in, a little turn, off to the race as you go. Uh, some people have noted they've broken them doing this, so just be gentle with them. Like, you know, don't beat them up. But then you'll see, you'll just keep turning it. And of course, this is white Coro, so any adverse, um, like shining through the Coro kind of stuff that people have worried about is going to be more apparent than on black Coro, uh, which is one of the many reasons why I'm showing it to you on white Coro. The other is it's what I had around. Um, and so there's that. Um, so let's just go ahead. We're going to punch these in casually. I'm not going to turn them all just because it's just for a quick example. Evos are, if you need to splice them for a prop or anything, you know, obviously you void the warranty with Matos on an Evo when you splice it. They do work with Scotch locks, three locks. I'm not sure if they work with clickets. I believe I've seen info that they don't do work with clickets because the wire is a little bit thin. But now we're just going to punch a bunch of these in here so we get approximately the same amount of the singing face filled or kind of closest to it. And we're going to show it to you. Of course, I made a hot mess, but that's okay. Um, so we're going to look at it. We're going to see it on camera. Okay, this is the Evo side. And yes, on camera, in person, to the eye, to everything else, they look a little bit different, right? They do. You know, people know how they, you can see it, how they light the coral a little bit on the inside. Um, that's not gonna be all that apparent on black coral. On white it is. I personally like how it looks because you're lighting the prop. I know people get into this high density stuff, they get really into it and they're playing video and stuff and that could affect it a little, but honestly, like 
even if I had a prop like this in my show with half Evos and half regulars, I mean, yes, we can see the difference on camera. We can see the difference as hobbyists in this, this hobby, but I'm just looking at it here. And if I was, you know, the lady in the corner who brings her kids by the display every night, if I was the neighbor who drives by, you know, once a week, the person who looks at it every night at their window from directly across the street, um, I wouldn't care. That's my opinion. I think it looks just fine. And I personally would not worry in terms of quality of um, mixing Evos and non-Evos. I just wouldn't. Um, so that's 30%. Let's go ahead to full while we're here. So now we're at full. We'll look at it again. I never run anything at full, but if you do, it's kind of the same thing, but more so. Obviously, we've got this whole pile in front, so we'll just move this here. It's a hot mess, but ultimately... <laughs> oh, David, we can't take you anywhere. Um, but ultimately, like, yes, they look a little bit different. Evos, regulars. Um, the Evos do light the Coro a little bit more. I think it looks cool. That's me. If you do black Coro, it's probably not all that apparent. So, whichever it is, I hope you enjoyed looking a little bit closer at Evos today and how they look in a prop and an actual display, um, as well as a mega tree strip. In my opinion, it's not that big of a deal, and the benefits of the Evo Pixels far outweigh the slight negatives that you might find. If it's different for you, that's fine. Go get resistor or regulated pixels. We've got lots of resistor pixels in stock, coming in stock too. Um, we'd love to get them to you. But me personally, I'm not pushing another bullet pixel if I don't have to. That's my opinion and I'm sticking to it. We've got lots of Evos coming into stock. We're gonna keep ordering more, so order yours early and we can get more and more off to you. We'd love to help. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to grab them at Learn Stage Lighting Gear, the above AVL store. That's our place now, and we would love to help you get these or anything else you need to make your display happen. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.